Well, I suppose like most uh, British musicians, um, I came across the writings of John Henry Newman through uh, Elgar's great oratorio, The Dream of Gerontius. And although Newman himself was a, was a great poet and a musician, I'm sure he didn't imagine for one minute that composers would be setting these texts to music. So what Robert Willis has done has made the words flow more in order to be sung. And that's a great help for any composer. Lots of very different people come to Newman's writings for very different reasons and from very different perspectives. Newman obviously means a lot to believers and not just Catholics. Uh, he became famously became a Catholic and then latterly a, a, a cardinal in his life. But his work, his message speaks to many people of faith, but also I think people who don't necessarily share the Christian faith. And there's something about this meditation that gets right to the heart of the kind of questions we ask about ourselves, whether we're believers or not. And it's about the purpose of life. It's as simple and as massive as that. Um, his opening statement is a dramatic statement. God has created me to do some definite service. So immediately he's getting into the area of our existence. Why are we here? What is the purpose of my life? What is the purpose of human life? And he is suggesting, controversially some might say, uh, that he's made us individually uh, for some kind of definite service, for some individual purpose that we all have. And then he goes on, some work which has not been committed to another. So we are unique. We are made, we are put on this earth, we're put in this life for an individual purpose that no other person has. And that kind of grabs the listener by the throat. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great challenge to our um, era of non-belief, but it's done in such a way that invites the sceptic into the question, into the debate. And that's why I think that this text resonates strongly for our time. It's a generous text from a believer, from a Christian, inviting the non-believer, the, the non-Christian, and everyone else, everyone in fact, into this question of about who we are and what our purpose is as human beings here.